Jen here and today I want to talk with you about something that I have been wanting to talk about for a really long time and then something that happened recently which you may have seen me talking about on Twitter has made me want to talk about it even more and this topic is should there be age restrictions on books? Should young adult books specifically be for young adults? Should adult books specifically be for adults? Should children's books be specifically for children? Etc etc you get what I'm talking about. Now obviously I'm not talking about reading Fifty Shades of Grey to a nine year old human because they're probably not going to understand that, probably quite inappropriate and shouldn't be a thing that is done, but I also don't think that we should restrict young adult and adult books from younger people. When I was in primary school and I was in year five, so I would have been nine years old, we had a test and the test was to test all of our different abilities, some mathematical abilities, English abilities, all that stuff. Within the English one we had a reading test and we had to read some books and do some things to work out our reading ability. And I had the reading ability of a 13 year old person, so I was 9 years old and I had the reading ability of someone that was 13, which meant that I could read at quite an advanced rate. And I'm not saying that that's the same for everyone and I don't mean for it to sound braggy, it's just the way that it was for me. I could just always read slightly higher than was my recommended age. But it would mean that I got through the books that we would read in school quite quickly, so when we would have our reading time and we'd have to choose a book that we wanted to read at school and to our families at home and then we'd mark our reading progress, i got gotten through all of the books at school. So once you had done that, you were allowed to bring your own books in. And I would bring in Harry Potter, right? And the first Harry Potter book that I read by myself was Goblet of Fire. So I would bring Goblet of Fire into school. And some of the teachers would say not to read it because it was too advanced. It was too advanced, it was too big. I shouldn't be reading it. I still continue to bring it in and I still read it because I wasn't going to be reading books that I'd already read and that I felt were too easy for me to read. I wanted to read something that I actually was enjoying and that I found good to read and found that I could read and was at my level. I think that if someone can understand, comprehend and read by themselves a book that's slightly older than what they should be reading, that that's absolutely fine. If someone's 10 years old and they can read a book like Twilight or The Hunger Games or something and they can, they're can they able to understand and it's not going to scare them and they're able to properly comprehend the book, I don't think that we should tell them that they can't because I think that that's perfectly fine. I'm not saying that's the case with everyone. I know people that when they were my age and they were reading Harry Potter it scared them and I'm not saying that everyone should do that, I just think that it shouldn't be something that is taken away from people if they have the ability and do actually want to read something different from what is considered to be in their age range. Just definitely make sure that they're not going to be scared by it and there's nothing in it that they're going to be confused about because I feel like if you read something you should completely understand what's inside it. If I was a parent I would make sure that there was like nothing in the book that my child didn't know about or that my child wouldn't be confused about and I would talk with them about it if they didn't understand it but you get what I mean, yeah. <laughs> the argument goes both ways and I also don't think that people should be considered that they're reading books that are too simple if they want to read something that is under the age that they should be. I have been in the young adult section many a time with friends and family who have said that I am now too old to read young adult books and all, it's all I read pretty much. <laughs> I also read quite a lot of children's books and I really really enjoy them and to be honest I don't think that they're as simple as it makes out to be and I think that there are some fantastic messages and themes and stories that are in children's books and young adult books that I don't think we should just stop reading as soon as we are 18 and not children or young adults anymore. I've known people before that have refused to read or watch something because they've said it's for kids and then I think that thing's really good and you just completely cut yourself off from enjoying it. Just because it's marketed towards children doesn't mean that it's just for children. I am such a Disney lover. I love Disney. I love Baymax. You know I love Baymax. I made an entire video about everything I own that has his face on it. And I've gotten so many comments on videos and Instagram posts and stuff about me being too old to enjoy things like that and that I get very emotional about Disney things and it's, aren't oh, you a bit too old to be enjoying that thing now? And I think, no. No, I'm not. Just because it's marketed towards children, because Disney is a family friendly thing, doesn't mean that only children can enjoy it. I'm not saying that you can, if you want to read adult books, then that's absolutely fine. You go and do that. But you also shouldn't feel like you're too old for YA or children's books. Recently, Dan Brown, the author of Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code, announced that he is basically going to be simplifying the Da Vinci Code and rewriting it for young adult books. I understand it's so that more people are aware of the books and more people to read it, but it was basically 
said that it needs to be simplified for young adult readers. I don't think there's anything simple <laughs> about young adult and I think that teenagers were perfectly fine with reading the original. But I don't think that YA should be something that's considered simple or dumbed down. I just finished A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. That was that was not a simple book. I think that to assume that young adult readers need a book that's simple and that they don't have the ability to read an adult book is quite patronising in a certain sense. And I just feel like we really limit what people can read, especially if someone is younger and they can read higher and they want to read higher and they can completely understand and grasp books that they're reading because we're limiting their reading ability. If they have the ability to read something that's maybe a couple of years older than them, why should we stop it? Why should we try and hinder their progress? Everyone starts somewhere and everyone starts at school and we have to learn, obviously you learn how to read and learn different abilities, but everybody is going to be reading at a different pace and everybody is going to have a different reading ability and the guidelines that we see with ages are just guidelines. No one's going to wake up on their 13th birthday and then suddenly be able to understand teen fiction. If they can understand it on their 13th birthday, they could probably understand it when they were 11 and 12. I think that we should use them as guidelines and to sort of give an idea of what the book will be like and what the book's about rather than using them as a solid, this is books for children, this is books for young adults, this is books for adults. Our reading ability may be different from the guidelines that are put in place. I think that really restricts what we can read and how we can read and our entire reading ability and reading experience. Like I said, I don't expect to read children Fifty Shades of Grey and I know that everyone's reading abilities is different. This is just my personal experience and my personal thoughts about it. I'd hate for someone to feel like they couldn't read a certain book because they feel like they're too old or for someone's reading ability to be hindered because they were told that what they were reading was too advanced them even though they can understand it perfectly. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you're new here, I make bookish videos a couple of times a week so if you would like to stick around and all that, then you can. As usual, all my links are in the description if you want to come and hang out with me on other social medias. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you're all doing really really well and I will see you next time. Goodbye!